Okay, so here's your lesson on how to use my home theater system. Uh, below, what you'll see are three remotes. The one on the left is for the television, and then we have the cable box, and then we have for the home theater receiver. So they are all kind of important. Um, you theoretically could watch Netflix and listen to Pandora, etc. using just the television, but it is better if it routes through the home theater. So let's go ahead and look up here. On top we have the television. On the very bottom in the middle is the home theater receiver. And then on the, uh, on the left uh, where the clock is, uh, that 311 there, that's the cable uh, DVR, so you can record shows on that. Anyway, so coming over here, we're going to turn on the home theater receiver. Uh, up here is the on and off, so I'm just going to click. I'm going to point it. This one has to be pointed down in the middle and click. And that will turn on. And depending on what you're going to be using... Um, and I should point out, there is a DVD player, a Blu-ray disc player, and that's over here where you get that big glare. So just open that glass up there, and there's a Sony Blu-ray player. So anyway, getting back to this guy here, and I'm going to move him over so I can maybe see it a little bit better. You got some buttons here, and try to focus those a little better. When you want to watch television, you have to push the SAT cable button. And so if you point this at the box and you push it, then what's going to happen is you'll be able to look at the receiver here and it's going to actually have the same character as SAT cable. So that means that now you're using the cable box. So having done that, you're going to use this remote to change channels. So looking at this one, you would change here, and you would not use the volume button because everything, your volume is basically going to be controlled by the home theater receiver, that big uh, remote there. If you want to see what's on, you can hit the guide button, and you're going to have to point this remote directly at the cable box because it's Time Warner, and it doesn't have, I mean, <laughs> it's... Amazing how you got it. Hey, uh, right, right there. Oh, okay, got it. So you'll bring that up, and that's going to show you a list of what's on TV. You pretty much won't use these buttons up here, but if somebody sat on the remote and it wasn't working, like if they accidentally pushed the VCR button and you see it going red there, it now thinks that it's supposed to be controlling a VCR box and not your cable box. So some of these functions would no longer work. So you'd want to come over and hit the cable button. So make sure that's pressed. And that is your on-off button. We almost never turn it off. We just let it go. It's just doing its thing. I probably should turn it off, but uh, it is recording stuff for us periodically. Okay, moving down the list. If there was something recorded, you would want to pull up your list of recordings and you would hit the green button. If you want to watch the Bible series, if you want to watch some reruns of Soul Train, etc., you put, you know, point, click, it's going to pull up a list. You'll use your up and down arrows to navigate through that list, and when you get to what you want, you're going to hit the select button right here. Um, if you want to change channels, you're changing them here. Click, 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 whatever you're doing. Or you could even jump page at a time, like so. If you want to see all of my favorites, which what I've tried to do is carve out anything that's ridiculous and just throw it out. So you'd hit the fave button. If you hit the fave button again, it takes you back to the normal list of everything. So don't try and tap it twice. Um, all the HD channels are pretty much above 400. So my list starts lower than that, my faves. Because, I mean, you got to get Gilligan's Island and all that, and you're not going to probably get that in HD. Anyway, um, there's the last button, which is kind of cool. If you 
if you surf around and you go, oh, wait a minute, I want to go back to where I was. You hit last and it'll bounce you back to where you were. If you hit last again, it'll take you back. So sometimes we'll be watching a recording and we want to pop back to live TV because the commercial's over and we hit last and we'll be back to watching some live show and then it's commercial time again. We'll hit last and it'll bounce us back to the recording we were watching. Anyway, there is on demand. You can click that, thumb through things and it'll show you stuff that's free and stuff that costs money. Uh, let's see. And you won't be using the play and fast Oh, you will. I'm sorry. When you're playing one of your recordings here with the green button, then you would be playing and fast forwarding. If you tap that, you know, got to point it. If you tap it once, it starts to fast forward slowly. Tap it again, it goes a little faster. Tap it again, it goes faster still. If you hit it like five times, it'll cycle back to normal fast forward speed. And of course, you got rewind, you got stop, pause and record. You want to record something, go, hey, I like that. Just hit the record button. It'll probably tell you there's not a whole lot of room left on the DVR, but don't worry about it. Just say, just, you can continue to say, I accept that. That's fine. And you could jump to an actual channel. Like I know that my CNBC is on channel 444. So I just point it and I go 444 and I'm there. And everything else I don't know how to use. Okay, so I guess it'd be helpful if I had the TV actually on. So here's the TV remote. And this is a Bluetooth remote. The keypad inside is broken, doesn't work, but it'll still do what you need it to do. So to turn on the TV, you'll hit that button. And you don't have to point it at the TV. In fact, you could hide it. It'll, it's Bluetooth, so it'll go like 30 feet. So just hit that button and what I'll show you, what I'll